let us have an outlook for the U.S. stock market as to what is the possibility in the forthcoming week. In the last week, the U.S. market shown a great weakness and it closed S&P 500, the mother of all indices, closed 3.05% lower on a week to week basis. Now, the significant part of this index is that it is probably trading in a falling channel, falling price channel. And lower fiber is uh, acting as a support, while upper fiber is acting as a resistance. More importantly, we can witness is during this fall, there was a formation of a bullish pin bar on 22nd February 2022. And then this bullish pin bar, although the high of that bullish pin bar was broken out on 28th February, but the price is not sustained and came down. Same kind of action we can see. There was a bullish pin bar kind of formation on 9th May, that is the prior week. And then the price broken out the high of the bullish pin bar in the prior week, in the last week. But finally, price did not sustain and the price again took support on a lower fiber. Now, based on the price action and this important consolidation ban, 3714 looks a very strong support. However, 3946 should not have been broken down, but finally it has broken down on a closing basis. So this entire zone should act as a demand area and 3946 should be defended in my opinion. Let us go to the daily price chart to understand the recent price action. What we can see once again during the last trading session, we have a formation of bullish pin bar on 20th May 2022. So a great volatility was witnessed on 20th May 2022, where the bears tried to push the price down, but ultimately price recovered and closed within the uh, lower fiber of the channel. So based on the price action, this first pullback was sold into and the price took support on the lower fiber and prior week candle is nothing but a, a kind of doji kind of formation. So there is no great momentum on downside. That is one thing we can understand with the price action. And since price is trading on a falling channel, so based on the price action, next possible resistance could be 4130 because the price has taken uh, support over here, price has taken support over here. So 4130 becomes a immediate resistance. And the next level of resistance is 4171. So broadly we can see the middle fiber of this falling channel should act as a resistance and there is a resistance of EMA 21 which is an apex of uh, uh, this uh, double bottom kind of formation and the apex lies at uh, 4090.72. So in the coming week 4130 to 4173 we should act as a resistance in S&P 500. Now let us go to the Nasdaq 100 and first have a look to the weekly price chart. Now in Nasdaq also what we can observe, there is some more clarity in Nasdaq as far as price action goes. We can see in the prior week there was a formation of bullish pin bar, but the, in Nasdaq high of the bullish pin bar was never broken out in the last week and the price finally closed on a week to week basis with a massive fall of 4.45%. But historically, if you see the NASDAQ, price has taken support on uh, SMA 144, broken down, but did not sustain. And then a massive upside move was seen. We can see uh, price has taken support on SMA 144 and multiple price action can be seen uh, where the price reversal took place from SMA 144. Now the SMA 144 is broken down, but historically it is seen that uh, uh, in weekly time frame the price 
do not sustain below SMA for, uh, 144. So based on the historical price action, it looks like forthcoming week, we might see buying forthcoming in NASDAQ 100. Now, uh, based on the price action and this important consolidation band, where we can see the multiple price rejection on a week to week basis, multiple, you know, large upper shadow kind of formation. So 11,355 is a very significant support. Let us go to the daily price chart to understand the price action better. Now, first pullback was sold out. And now we see a, some kind of uh, ice cream bar formation on 20th May 2022 and the price has defended 11,700, the level which we discussed in the last week. Now the apex of these uh, double bottom formation uh, lies at something around 12,573. So 12,600 becomes a very important resistance area and next level of resistance is 12,850 because the price has taken support here and if we consider this trend line which is acting as a resistance trend line and an established resistance line price has seen rejection 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 so an upside move this trend line will again pose a resistance and will act as a supply uh, area now this particular trend line is almost kissing EMA 21. So we can finally conclude that 12,600 to 12,850 where this trend line EMA 21 is also intervened will act as a resistance in NASDAQ. However, 11,700 to 12,000 will remain as a demand area. However, the price presently is trading below 12,000. But the price action suggests that the 12,000 should be broken out in the forthcoming week. Now let us go to the Metaverse ETF. This is the price chart of Metaverse ETF. We can see the massive fall and here the bullish engulfing. Uh, first pullback is normally sold out. So that is what is happening in this ETF. And based on the price action, either it will form some kind of inverse head and shoulder. And if inverse head and shoulder forms, this trend line needs to be broken. Let me extend this trend line. This being a left shoulder head formation and maybe right shoulder will form here or break out or price may snap back to test the prior low. So based on the price action, this being a bullish engulfing candle, 8.42 becomes an immediate support on upside move. We can see the price support over here. And if we check the retracement of this falling wave, 61.8% uh, comes at 9.3 and price action suggests uh, immediate resistance at 9.47. So we can conclude that 9.47 and derivative of golden ratio that is 78.6% falls at 9.69. This zone is likely to act as a supply ban. Now let us go to uh, check the price action on DXY US dollar currency index. Now what we can see, then, uh, let us see the weekly chart. We can see the price was too much overextended that we have discussed in the last week and now correction has started. And we have seen in the last week a formation of bearish engulfing. Now, based on this trend line, price has taken multiple support, support, and this was broken down. And now it was broken out here. So this trend line will act as a very important support in DXY. On a week to week basis, it closed in minus 1.38%. Let us go to the daily price chart. What we can see, this was the impulsive wave. The correction seems to be halting at EMA 21. And we can see the formation of some kind of spinning top indicating the loss of downside momentum on 20th May. So 102.97 and the lower band is 102.352. This zone should act as a demand area. However, based on the price action, if we check the expansion level of the prior well-defined impulsive wave, 
127.2 percent expansion was achieved. So immediate resistance is 103.931 because the price rejection has been seen. Multiple rejection can be seen here, and the next level of resistance is 104.995. Or the moment the price breaks out 105, we might see DXY going to 106.4, which is nothing but the 161.8 percent expansion level. Now let us finally go and check the Euro USD currency pair. What we can see on a week-to-week -week basis, it has surged by something around 1.45 percent. We had discussed about this demand area, and from where we have seen a formation of a very strong bullish engulfing candlestick pattern. However, the volume was uh, higher than the average volume, but did not go. Past the volume of the prior week. Now let us go to the daily price chart. Now, based on the price action, if we see this trend line, price has seen rejection, rejection, rejection. On a closing basis, it was broken out on 19th May. So, if we see this kind of thing, it looks like a mini kind of inverse head and shoulder, left shoulder, right shoulder, and a breakout. And the price of the last trading session on 20th May is. Uh, nothing but a spinning top, taking support on this neckline kind of thing, which is a uh, trend line. Now, based on the price action, what we can see here, the price has taken support. So, one point zero four six one five is a immediate support, and the next level of support, where the price has seen multiple support over here at one point zero four nine seven four. This band becomes a very significant demand area. On upside move, if we little project the uh, target based on this uh, uh, mini inverse head and shoulder, we can see it might go to 1.06758 level, which is nothing but 61.8 percent expansion level. However, it will face some kind of resistance at 1.06425. Because the price has seen rejection over here, so we can conclude 1.06425 to 1.06758 is a supply band in the forthcoming week. Friends, I hope you might have liked the detailed analysis on U.S. stock market. Give a lot of thumbs up to this video. Share this video. Don't forget to subscribe the channel. Hit the notification bell so that you remain updated all the time. Thank you very much for watching. Looking forward to meet you very very soon. Thank you.